Hey guys, what's going on? Awesome question. How much protein should you consume to build muscle? It's the question that's puzzled health and fitness addicts for years. How much protein do you have to consume to build muscle? Once upon a time, the theory was one gram per pound of body weight or two grams per kilo of body weight or two grams per pound of lean body weight. There's all these formulas that get thrown around to give you an absolute number on the amount of protein you need to consume to build muscle. The change in thought process in the industry these days is away from that formula based, that, that number based formula that's gonna give you an absolute number and is really something that we call protein change theory, where instead of looking at an absolute number of protein intake, you look at the difference in protein intake over a long period of time. So let me give you an example. If you're the sort of person who normally consumes a very low protein, low amount of protein, a low protein diet, let's say 50 grams a day, and now you wanna focus on building muscle, it's not so much a fact of going I weigh this much therefore I need X grams of protein based on my body weight it's let's see how much protein I currently consume and for my body to build muscle to have the amino acids and the protein to build muscle I need to go over and above that current protein intake so for the person that's currently consuming a very low protein diet say 50 grams of protein per day 75 grams may be enough for them to build muscle a hundred grams may be enough for them to build muscle even when looking at a, at a, a formula-based theory, it may be like 200 or 250. That's the real change in thought process. On the other hand, if you're the sort of person that already consumes a very high amount of protein in your diet, let's say 300 grams a day, and you wanna to continue to build muscle, it's not so much about looking at that formula, it's about looking, I'm at 300 grams per day, I therefore need to go over and above that 300 grams per day because it's the relative change in protein intake that my body is gonna to signal to, that my body is gonna be able to actually build that muscle. So that person consuming 300 may need to go to 350, even though based on a formula, that's over and above what the formula says they should be consuming. So that's protein change theory. Look, got some real cool resources for you guys. Gonna link them in the description box below. The first one is our free online nutrition plan where you can put in your personal attributes, your age, your gender, your height, your weight, and it'll give you a really good starting point for the amount of protein you need to consume, the amount of carbs you need to consume, the amount of fats you need to consume to change your body composition. Underneath that link, there's another link to an article written on protein change theory. The article is called How Much Protein, and it goes really into the nitty gritty of protein change theory, where it's come from, the basis for the theory, and why a lot of scholars in this industry now are recommending protein change theory rather than an absolute formula-based number for your protein intake. Guys, that is the answer to the question, how much protein should you consume to build muscle? As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of MJ Q&A and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on the mobile, you gotta turn those post notifications on. Make sure you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. And I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com. Stay massive.